All right, so I am officially charging my Energy Flex 1500. I finally got my Flex MPPT supercharger. Now this is capable of inputting an additional 800 watts. It's got two EC8 inputs and each one can do up to 90 volts VOC. So I've got four 200 watt solar panels connected right now to the top unit. Now it is later in the day, it's almost four o'clock. We're in the fall now. I do have clear skies. And right now I've got the 800 watts connected and I'm getting 330 watts to go in. So definitely not good. I'll probably have to give this another try on another sunny day, but I don't know when that next sunny day is. But we are getting pretty close. We're getting the 75 to 80% of the solar input because it's 400 watt solar input, regardless of the 800 watts being connected, we're getting kind of close to the solar input, at least close to 80%. So that's all right. And so now I'm gonna plug into these other charge controllers and see what kind of wattage that puts in. So we're getting upwards of 330 right there. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this. That goes away. And I'm gonna plug in to the first PV connector here. Immediately we get some information. It's showing the volts and the amps and the watts. That's pretty cool. It shows all three. And same thing, we're getting above 300, close to 330 right there. Exceeding it a little bit, uh, got all the way up to 333. So again, basically 75 to 80% of the rated solar input. Now let's go ahead and try PV connection two. Get that in there. Same thing, getting about 330 watts. I have two EC8 to MC4 adapters. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect another string of solar panels. Now I know this second string is partially shaded right now. So if we get anything, that'll actually be good. So we hit about 150 watts at the peak there, uh, but I do know that this second array is partially shaded right now. So getting almost to 160, that's actually really good. So personally, in my opinion, this system is pointless without the extra charger because you really want to have lots of high solar input. Some clouds just came in, so these numbers are gonna go down. But for sure, I was able to get 330 watts into each of the solar inputs. So that's a thousand watts solar input out of the 1200 watts that it's rated to with this supercharger attached. Now, I honestly think that this is way late to the game. There are many other systems coming out into the market that just honestly demolish the Flex 1500. So is it working? Yes, but one thing to keep in mind is the battery percentage was at 24% when I first turned this on. I have not touched this unit. It has been sitting on the shelf in the off position since I did my last video. So truly, this needs to be on a solar panel trickle charging all the time. And that, you know, the inverter wasn't on or anything. It was just sitting by itself, not doing anything at all. And it drained 76% of its own battery just sitting. So that is a big deal. And you want to be aware of that up front. But definitely don't go more than three months without charging this thing. Um, and again, I have one of these clips that is completely stuck that I can't undo. And this clip here on this side won't connect. Uh, this side of the supercharger is actually not connected to this battery here. So when I lift this whole thing, I've got to hold this bottom side of the supercharger and lift with the handle here. Uh, otherwise, it just kind of flops off and I'm concerned that it would break the clip over on this side. Well, I was just moving this Flex 1500 and it just completely fell on me. Looks like I bent one of these pieces here. The supercharger just completely fell off the bottom. This locking system does not work at all. Chewed up my hand pretty good. I think it still works. Yep, looks like it still works, but I am sick and tired of this thing falling apart. Look at that, had a piece break inside here. As it came apart, that's one of the alignment pieces. So that's definitely not good. You can see that these are over and they slide freely, right? Oh, actually, no, that's the locked one. Over here, they freely slide. Uh, that one slides, but this one is pinched in the open position and that one is pinched in the locked position. Don't mind me, just doing what it takes to get this thing unlatched because one side 
is good. And this side's completely stuck. This is kind of ridiculous. Does not want to come undone. Almost there. <laughs> See how easy that's supposed to lock in and out? See, unlock, lift up. Lock, it doesn't lift up. This thing is seriously stuck. I cannot get it off. I'm using this because it's got a heavily rubberized handle, but it is seriously a real pain in the butt trying to get this off. I have never been able to get this off. I'm hoping to get it off now. See this? Oh my god! Wow. Absolutely ridiculous. I had to get a really long flathead screwdriver, which gouged the top of this real good just to get to that. So it looks like this bracket is bent over. So it needs to get pushed in that way and maybe it'll work, but it's always great having to ding up your really expensive equipment just uh, so you can get it unlocked, right? And so these locks are definitely a big issue for me. I don't like them at all. It is cool that you can add more charge controllers to more batteries. You're just gonna pay a lot for those features. Whereas other units just have larger charge controllers already built in and the battery capacities are expandable as well in greater quantities than a thousand watt hours each. So take it for what you will. That's how you expand it. It works really well in that sense. Do I like it? No, I wouldn't recommend it. It's way overpriced for what you get, but I'm sure Energy will come out with some other options as well. And I'll have to purchase those and test them here on the channel too. So if you found this helpful, and you really like being able to see this updated content where I do revisit the things that I say I'm gonna revisit so I can make sure you're getting all the information you need, then smash that like button, subscribe, and thank you so much to my Patreon members. You can go to patreon.com slash minutemanprep. I'm putting special content on there that no one else gets to see except for my Patreon members. And I'll even have some training courses on there all about solar, which will be very cool here in the near future. So check that out if you're interested, become a contributor if you'd like. Thank you so much for being here, be prepared, one of the best ways to be prepared is have solar backup. That's what I choose to use. Uh, personally, I would not use this system, but there are a plethora of other systems, and you can see which ones I recommend by going to poweredportablesolar.com. All of the kits that are on there are basically ones that I would personally use myself or recommend to others because they actually have enough power to get through an emergency or whatever. So thank you so much. Be prepared. I will see you guys in the next video.